This is late breaking news. Number four, Jacoby Thomas, last week's Player of the Week, suffered a broken arm on this play during the Borden County Coyotes game. Jacoby is expected to be out a total of four to six weeks. I will have more on this irrelevant story once it becomes available. Take over first and 15 on the 40 yard line. Two plays with third and nine. Number seven, Elias Neverell closes to number 51, Zach Rodriguez, who will not be stopped. Takes it all the way for a great half. Touchdown! A 38 yard pass. The point conversion. Good. Now the rolling and take the lead. Eight nothing. The water valley was not going to let that hold for long. Fourth down. First and fifteen. Number seven. Tanner counts. Steps back. Look. Five. Number thirteen. Cade York, who turns on the end first and takes off. All the way into the end zone for a Water Valley touchdown. And just like that, with extra point conversion, good. We have ourselves a tied ball game with 5.50 to go in the first. Tied 8-8. Eight, eight. That dark, heavy cloud starts to move in. Four plays down. The Hounds don't only get enough for a first down. Oh no, the Hounds make a statement. This is our turn. And this is how it's done, boys. Snap. Anthony Estrada hands it over to Elias Never as he throws it to number 51, Zach Rodriguez, who refuses to be stopped. Takes it all the way to the one yard line. And before these Wildcats could even blink an eye, BAM! Greyhound touchdown! Extra point blocked. With 2.43 to go in the first, the mighty proud Hound gets their lead back. 14-8. On fourth and out on both teams, several plays left. Wildcats ball. Number seven. Tanner Couch looks, five, throws to his Wildcat teammate, who is intercepted by number seven, Elias Neverand of the Greyhound. 
Greyhounds take possession of the ball back. First and 10 for the Greyhounds on the 38 yard line. Several carries later. First and 15. Snap. Anthony Estrada tosses it to Andrew Rodriguez, who runs and takes it all the way in for a 15 yard touchdown for the Greyhounds. With extra point, blocked, no good. The 515 go in the second. The hounds are rolling, rolling, rolling. Woo -hoo. Oh yeah. 28. Hounds. If you think Water Valley was down and out, take it again. After Water Valley makes a huge run down the field, it is suddenly second and goal. After a try attempt. Turner counts, hands it off to Jason Power, who powers his way all the way for a Wildcat touchdown. With extra point, good. It is now Knox City Greyhounds 20, Water Valley Wildcats 16, with 3.55 to go in the second. First and 15, Wildcats ball. Tanner Cowles runs back, look, 5 number 14, Terry Simmons, and it's nearly picked off, oh, just that close, by number 7, Elias Neverest. Water got it going forth and out, Hounds taking over, the rain is really starting to come down now, with 4, 49, let's go in the third, several of good carries later, Hounds follow the ball. Just like that, the hound, get it back, baby! Yeah! Don't blink, Wildcats, because of the flash of an eye, the hound make another touchdown. Extra point conversion. Under very heavy wet conditions, the ball slips out of Ellison's hands. Zach picks it up, gives it to number 30. Alfredo! With the hound running all over the Wildcats, it is the hound that reigns victorious in this one in week two! Knox City Greyhound 47 and the Water Valley Wildcats 24. this week and you overcame the odds and that just goes to prove that just goes to show that just goes <laughs> for all to understand and to know and to know as the saying goes it fits us so 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 well it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's a fight in the dog. <laughs> oh yeah, and you guys proved that firsthand because teamwork, what does it do? It makes plays. Teamwork, what does it do? It gets touchdowns. And what else does teamwork do? It gets results. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But Hounds, from this moment forward, from now on, it's only going to get tougher and it's only going to get harder. But that's okay because we are the mighty proud Hounds and we are always, always up for the challenge. Always up for the challenge. This week, you guys, oh man. Oh, 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 man, you guys have got Chili Conte, the Chili Conte Eagles. <laughs> These guys are not to be taken lightly. They're a good team. 
your top team. Regroup, study, learn, strategize, and simply know how to well play, outwit, and outlast these Eagles. Because you can do it. And Water Valley, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You have not won a game so far. So far, you're 0-2. That's okay. Because it's not your record that defines you. It is not your record that makes you. It is who you are as a team and who you are inside. You got to look yourselves in the mirror and say, and no, not say, ask yourselves. Ask yourselves. Number one, how badly do you want it? Number two, how badly do you <laughs> do you crave it? Number three, how badly do you need it? <laughs> exactly. Ask yourselves those three questions. And if you come up with the answers that you want it badly, that you're hungry, and that you desire for victory, you will overcome every obstacle ahead of you and in front of you. It is how badly you want it and how badly you absolutely need it. Teamwork is everything. And I guarantee you, you guys, you got a lot of heart, you got a lot of passion, and you got a lot of speed. <laughs> just like we all just saw, you got a lot of speed. Keep up the good work, keep up the hard work, and I guarantee you, you will be successful and you will get results. Bottom line. That's right, number 80, Israel Rodriguez for this hit right here. Boom! Knocked this guy right off his feet, right to the ground. Now that is what I call a hit. Bam! This week's Catch of the Week. Catch of the Week comes to you by number seven, Elias Navarez. We're making this incredible, beautiful interception for the Hounds. I mean, take a look at this play. Take a look at this play. I mean, this is, we <laughs> say, number seven, former Greyhound, Tiny, and Superman. Ha! I don't think he's, he's jumped this high. Take a look at this height. He got high, baby. He got high off his feet. Right off the ground. Perfect concentration. Catching the ball. And turns out it was the catch of the week. Good job, Elias. Keep it up, baby. Keep it up. And lastly, lastly, this week's player of the week is none other than number 51, the human diesel truck, the human diesel machine. Because he exactly what he was Friday night, Great House Stadium, baby. He was a record machine. He did it all from touchdowns to field goals. Two hits on the field. You name it, he busted his butt, just like the rest of the Greyhound. But this week's player of the week is none other than number 51. Human Diesel Wrecking Truck Machine. Zach Rod Thank you everybody for watching this week's episode. 
Cannot wait for next week, episode three, for week number three, when the Greyhounds take on Chillicothe in their own backyard. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great week. Until then, God bless. God is always with you. And remember to dominate, annihilate, and assassinate. Live, baby! Yeah!